Well, Judicial Watch has uncovered new documents that show the discredited Steele dossier being funneled through John Kerry's State Department, emails dating back to September of 2016, detailing communications about the phony dossier between Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Nuland, Special Coordinator for Libya Jonathan Weiner, and incoming House Majority Whip then, Steny Hoyer's National Security Advisor Daniel Silverberg. And joining us to make sense of it is Judicial Watch President Tom Fenton. Tom, good to have you with us. I, I, you, you can't be serious. Uh, John Kerry, uh, Steny Hoyer's national security aide, uh, working together with Christopher Steele. Th this is, tell us it's just preposterous and it couldn't have happened. Well, Steele had an in with the State Department going back years even before uh, the uh, 2016 elections. He knew this Jonathan Weiner guy yeah. going back some time. Weiner was helping him out, according to the documents we have. And then once the dossier came up, uh, he conveyed that to the senior State Department official, Victoria Newland. And uh, then Newland is obviously talking about that with House Democrats. Other documents we have, uh, Lou, show that the State Department was a key area or a key agency mm -hmm. in the anti Trump efforts. Uh, shepherding the dossier not only to the Congress, uh, but to the Justice Department, even through Steele. You know, we think that Steele has the one dossier. Oh, no. Uh, the State Department was sending its own material separately to Congress. Mm -hmm. So uh, when if A.G. Barr is going to look at this, he needs to not only look at DOJ, FBI, NSA, CIA, State Department's in the center of the storm when it came to these anti-Trump coup efforts. And he's going to need to look at the Senate Intelligence Committee. He's going to need as well to look at how did John McCain get his hands on the Steele dossier. And That's how right. is it that he's sitting there working with a, uh, a former uh, agent of MI6 at a security conference who is the person designated for him to hand over the dossier to the FBI, which he does. Very little discussion about that path, that circuitous path, uh, through uh, the intelligence agencies of uh, our so-called allies. It's, it's pretty stunning stuff for there not to have been any, any uh, significant uh, public discussion of all of this at this late date. Well, and it explains why you have this sort of desperate activity by the House Democrats to harass the president's team even further with this ridiculous uh, consideration of trying to bypass executive privilege, which won't work. Uh, because it, it's, they, it's just, by the way, it's not only indecent, uh, it is beneath contempt, and it's also just stupid what they're doing. It just, the Democrats get dumber. Uh, and the Republicans, the House Republicans, uh, there are a handful who are fighting for this president. But those Republicans need to stand as one and say, you will leave this president the hell alone. And the Senate Republicans look like complete buffoons. And I'm starting with Lindsey Graham, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, who should be defending this president and creating a countervailing influence against the morons who run the House Intelligence Committee and the House Judiciary Committee. Yeah, uh, he Do you should disagree? Crank, uh, he should crank up the Judiciary Committee on, uh, and investigate what went on with this. Uh, the Democratic-controlled Intelligence Committee, and I don't say that lightly given the Republicans run the Senate, are obviously, is obviously harassing Trump. Yes. Uh, Senator Graham has got to step into the gap here, I agree. Uh, but quickly on the Democrats, Lou, uh, the flack they're throwing up is designed to protect themselves from scrutiny. Forget about investigating the investigators. We need to be investigating Congress about its role in the anti-Trump coup, which, in my view, continues through its abuse of power at the House, targeting uh, his IRS forms, his confidential IRS data, uh, harassing him generally. Uh, the reason they're doing this because they don't want the world to stop and it focus on their misconduct, their okay. political party misconduct in engendering Spygate. If all the noise and all of the shiny objects descend to earth at one time, what's left? Nothing but a president who has achieved historic success in his first two and a half years in office and a Democratic Party that is rancid and politically corrupt beyond anyone's imaginings three years ago as we approached a decision about who we would put in the White House. It is, it is just extraordinary what we are living through 
uh, Tom Fenton, who is uh, making it uh, making it better and discovering much uh, that we are thank learning. You. As always, thank you. Thank Judicial Watch, Tom. Appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Thank you, Lou.